Here is another video on how to calculate the elasticity of substitution. We're going to be using the following production function. The elasticity of substitution measures the percentage change in the capital labor ratio from a 1% change in the marginal rate of technical substitution. This measure indicates how easy it is for the firm to substitute one input for another input along an isoquant. The formula is the percentage change in the capital labor ratio, where the capital labor ratio is capital divided by labor, and then that's going to all be divided by the percentage change in the marginal rate of technical substitution. And over here, we have the change in the natural log of the capital labor ratio. And the change in the natural log of anything will represent a percentage change. And then we're going to divide that by the change in the natural log of the marginal rate of technical substitution. Again, a change in the natural log of the marginal rate of technical substitution is a percentage change in the marginal rate of technical substitution. And now we're going to take the partial derivative of this production function with respect to labor. And we get back this result here. And then we get the marginal product of capital. And we get back this result here. We're going to form the marginal rate of technical substitution by taking the marginal product of labor and dividing it by the marginal product of capital. And just using the rules of exponents, our numerator now looks like this, and our denominator looks like this. What we want to do now is we want to solve this expression over here for the capital labor ratio, k divided by l. So we want to solve this for k divided by l. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to let z equal the following. So I'm going to substitute this z into this expression. So the numerator then becomes z plus 1. And in the denominator, this l to the 1 half power over k to the 1 half power is just a reciprocal of z, so 1 over z. And then we're going to get a common like denominator down here. So 1 is just z divided by z. And now our denominator simplifies down to the following. Just rewriting that last step. And now I'm going to do the following. I'm going to take what's in the denominator here, and I'm going to take its reciprocal and multiply the top and bottom of the right-hand side by it. So what's nice here is that everything in the denominator cancels. And then the z plus 1 and the z plus 1 will cancel, and you're just left with the marginal rate of technical substitution equals z. And recall what z equals, k to the 1 half divided by l to the 1 half power, so making that substitution back in. And again, our goal was to solve for k divided by l, so we're going to square both sides. And now we're going to take the natural logs. So this is where the natural logs will now come in handy, taking the natural log of both sides. And the rules of natural logs say we can bring this 2 down in front. And now we're ready to take a derivative. If we take the derivative of the natural log of the capital labor ratio with respect to the natural log of the marginal rate of technical substitution, we get back 2 to just simply the coefficient right here in this equation. And that is our elasticity of substitution. So if the marginal rate of technical substitution were to increase by 1%, the capital labor ratio would increase by 2%. Okay, I will stop here.